Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. And today I'm gonna to be looking at the Chop Cup. This uses a TCC Chop Cup, which is, my, in my opinion, one of the best Chop Cups that you can get. And um, the reason I'm doing this, this isn't the Chop Cup routine that I normally do. Uh, for those of you that don't know, a little while ago, I did a, uh, a lecture on the Chop Cup for the guys at Alakazam at their hub on the Discord server. And I did it twice and uh, it was very well received. I put a routine together specifically just for that lecture that incorporated, it was, it was Chop Cup for beginners and it, it taught a very simple Chop Cup routine with a couple of simple moves that you can string together and uh, kind of put together into a commercial routine. And a lot of people that went to that lecture, uh, of course it wasn't filmed, um, there's no way to go and watch it again. And a lot of people that went to that lecture said, hey, uh, can you perform the routine and on your channel because I want to remind myself what it looks like. So this is me performing it. So for everyone that's contacted me and said, please, can you perform the routine that you taught at the Alakazam Hub? This is the routine. And I need Sarah to help me. Luckily, I have Sarah behind the camera. How are you doing, Sarah? Hey. Now, uh, I, I have a cup and I have a ball. This is the cup, this is the ball. Uh, the idea is that the ball goes into the cup, it comes out the cup, there's no trap doors, no secret compartments, no portals to another dimension. If you were here and you were on this side of the camera, you could examine the cup and examine the ball, but uh, trust me that everything is as it's meant to be. Now, the idea is very simple. Magicians don't normally tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get this ball underneath the cup, okay? So that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take this ball, I'm going to get underneath the cup, underneath this cup right here. I've told you what's going to happen. You've got to keep an eye on the cup. You've got to keep an eye on the ball. Nothing happens till I say go. When I say go, the ball disappears, travels underneath the cup, which is pretty impressive, but you might have missed it like most people do. So I'm going to do it again. This time you know what's going to happen. But do here's the thing. Don't watch this. Don't watch the hand. But Everybody tries to watch the hand. Forget about the hand. Watch the cup because ultimately that's where it's going to end up. Now let me go through this really slowly. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to take the cup. I'm going to put the cup here. I'm going to put the ball over here underneath the, uh, underneath the desk. And I'm going to get the ball underneath the cup. And you've got to try and catch me, Sarah. So all you have to do to win is tell me where's the ball. I'll give you a clue. I want you to win. Where's the ball? I'll give you another clue, Sarah. I want you to win. Where's the ball? I'll give you another clue, Sarah. I just I said down there. It's in the, it's no, where? Down there. Oh, so you're not saying underneath there? No. You're saying, you're saying down here? Yes. No, you should have gone underneath there, really. I mean, that, that's, that, if you, <laughs> she's got her irritated face on again. Look, look, let me go, let me go really slowly. There's a, there's a hole right there in the top of the cup. You probably can't see it, uh, but there's a hole right there, which means I can drop that ball right through the hole in the cup. In case you missed it, it happens when I snap. The, uh, the hole opens up just for a split second. So weird, right? Um, let's do this one last time. You can do this yourself, say. I'm going to put this into my pocket, or in, underneath the table, because I'm sitting down, and we're going to get under there one more time. Are you ready? All you have to do is snap your fingers, say. Go ahead and snap. Snap, you can do this. No, you didn't snap hard enough. You need to snap a little bit harder. Check it out, look at that. She's ama you're amazing. Honestly, you are the best magician ever. Uh, look, this is, all, this is all good and all wonderful, but you need a big finish. Whenever you're doing a trick like this, you need a big finish. So let me put this away one last time and I give you the big finish. For the big finish, I have to snap again, just like that. And when I snap again, you get the big finish. Do you know why this is the big finish, Sarah? Yeah. It's mainly because you can't get any bigger than that. Look at the size of this. This is the big finish. Actually, I say that's the big finish. If you missed this one, you probably missed uh, that one as well because that one's uh, 20 times bigger and that really is the big finish because they don't even fit in the cup together. Anyway, that's the Chop Cup. I highly recommend a TCC Chop Cup, in my opinion, for many different reasons that I went into in the lecture. The TCC Cup is the best Chop Cup to use for Chop Cup. Um, but yeah, I mean, do you do Chop Cup? Let me know in the comments down below. If you do, uh, I just love Chop Cup. I always have. And if you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another Magic Live. I'll see you again. My name's Craig from Magic TV.